Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salt, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke series here on the channel. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing great. We are back with another episode. It is presently episode four, I'd like to say. Um, there's no really point of doing a team recap. I'm going to do a really quick one. We've got Rattled, we've got Triggered, we've got Smashed, we've got Coded. Rattled's holding the Lucky Egg. Not much else to it. Team really hasn't changed. Rattle, learn, tackle. That's about it. Let's get on with the video. We're going to start the video off with a couple encounters right off the bat. This is going to be the encounter episode, essentially. We're going to be getting encounters here. Then we're going to do the cave. Uh, and then we're going to head to Slateboard to get more encounters there. So right, he right over here is Route 107. We are going to take out our fishing rod. A lot of the encounters today are fishing rod encounters. Um, I think five out of seven of the encounters today are fishing rod encounters. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come here. We're going to go. We're going to do some fishing. All right. Starting off strong with nothing. What about now? Not a single thing. Let's go. Let's go. We need a new encounter. Let's go. What are we getting? Give me some power. I said power. What is this? All right. Tackle. I Yo, a track has a long animation. Okay, yeah, no, not playing around with that. Uh, triggered, get in here. Yo, Porygon would have done more damage than you, okay? Uh, if you can live a bubble, then he put me to sleep. Alright. I'm this close to running from you, Delcaddy. The only reason I'm not is because I don't want to have to catch you later. And then find out there is, like, a Groudon in that area. Why are you lowering my attack? I don't have any physical moves. My only physical attacker does nothing to you. I'm not going to add anybody to the team until I get all of my Dufer Town encounters. Um, like, once I catch a Cell Caddy, I'm not adding it to the team. Because there's no point. Of me adding it to the team because this Del Caddy is not going to be on the team. I can guarantee that. All right, live this bubble and you can join the team. Not join the team, but you can get caught. Oh, that bubble did nothing. I could have even went for water gun. Del Caddy, especially bulky. Man, that crit did a lot. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's pop a heal. I'm not losing. I'm on to this thing. That's not happening. Luckily, uh, in Slateport City, we have, once we beat the little cabin, we can get uh, Moo Moo Milks. Is that what they're called? Moo Moo Milks or Fresh Waters or whatever for cheap. They do 10, 10 more HP at, like, less than half the price. All right. You're in yellow. Let's throw a nice uh, no Pokeball at you. Throw a nice Pokeball and see what's gonna happen. One, two, three, caught. All right, we need a name for this Del Caddy. Slightly what? Slightly. Slightly. Slightly sucked. Slightly hitted. Slightly meowed. Slightly loved. Yeah, there we go. Because not many people love Adele Caddy, so slightly loved. Alright. Now we've got another encounter. Oh, not what I meant to do. We've got another encounter over here. Fish. Da, 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 da. I still messed up. I forgot to put my headphones in again. Oh well. Whatever. Live and learn. Live and learn, right? Yeah, yo. I know there's encounters here. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. I panicked there. Because, like, it said a Pokemon's on the hook and I didn't react quick enough. 
Ooh, an Armaldo. Not bad. Interesting. I've never really used an Armaldo before, so I'd be down. Pokemon triggered. If he can live a bubble, then he can join the squad. A bubble's super effective, though, so I'm a little worried. But I think he can live it. The bubble only does is only like 20, so. Yeah, that, that panicked me hard, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I had a little heart attack there. I'm probably going to skip all the trainers in Slateport for now because in between episodes, I'm going to do a grinding montage. So I'll probably train everybody up there with a little bit of a grinding montage. Um, because I'm sure you guys don't really want to see me take on all those trainers. So I'll probably skip it all with a nice little grind ski. A little bit of a montage. All right. You're getting annoying. Why won't you stay in the ball? Do I got a better ball for you? I have a great ball, but... Oh, no, you're barely staying in those. Maybe a premiere. Maybe a premiere is what you want. Uno. Dos. Trace. Beautiful. We got him. What are we naming this guy? Armaldo. Slightly... He's the plate Pokemon. Slightly plated. He's a plate Pokemon. We're going to name him Slightly Plated. Alright. Let's check out these guys' abilities first things first. Serene Grace. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't even have to think about it. Armaldo. On the layout. Live. Right now. That's for sure. You. Cute Charm. Isn't that one of your actual abilities? Yo, no chance. No chance. I'm searching this up live. Del Addy. Um, in the anime, in the the world. Cute charm. Cute Charm are normalized are its abilities, and then it has Wonder Skin as a hidden. Wow, it randomized its ability to its own ability. All right, let's see what we got up here. That's not even the beat of this uh, route, for sure. Oh my bad, I looked away. I was moving my water bottle. Come on, come on, come on, come back to me. Hey, okay. I'll treat you nice, I promise, I promise. You don't have to leave. Come on back, come on. Come on, little fishy. Let's go. I clicked the wrong button! Stupid <sighs> keyboard. Let's go, let's go. All right, the Pokemon's on the hook. We gotta catch this guy. C dot, we're catching you. I'm a fan of C dot. I don't mind. Did we have one in our last playthrough? No, nope, that's in my uh, so that's in my uh, off cam playthrough. I have a Nuzleaf right now. In my off cam playthrough, not bad. I'm a big fan of him actually right now. You're gonna go for bite, aren't you? No, Harden. That's okay. I guess we'll just keep going for tackles. Ooh, a crit. Now I'm not. Now I'm definitely not going to go for tackles. He's going to live a bubble though. It's resisted, right? Smoke screen. Leash energy, but it failed. Alright. Bubble. This will live. He'll live. You're bulky. Come on. Come on, C-Dot. Don't even. Yeah. Your speed fell. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna toss a book bottom and figure out a nice name for this guy. But I'm, I might add add this guy to the team. It depends on what the other three encounters are. Three, four, four encounters. We still got four more encounters to go. We got the cave, we got Slateport City, we got the 
the route just below Slateport City. We got the route above Slateport City. This is going to be an encounter a full episode. This is the episode of encounters. Ooh. Slightly what? He's the acorn Pokemon, right? Uh, he's a nut. Slightly nutted. That can be taken so sexual, but it's okay. Slightly nutted. Alright, considering this is the encounter filled episode, I, th I feel like this is quite a good um, question of the day for this. So the question of the day is going to be, what, if you haven't seen this, go check it out. Um, what do you think about the new, it's not really new, but what do you think about the art style and how the next Pokemon season is going to look? So the, if you didn't know, there was a teased image uh, earlier this week um, with Ash in it, another trainer, Score Bunny, Pikachu, and like in the back it showcased all seven, all eight regions. Uh, and I found that pretty cool. And I really liked how Ash looked, his new design, and it's even a minor difference from Sun and Moon. It doesn't look as anime-ish, I'd like to say, a Sun and Moon kind of thing. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, and I was a big fan of it. So, if you haven't seen the image, go online, see the image. You could even go and see the promotional teaser for the anime. Right now, it's only in Japanese, as far as I know, but um, it was pretty cool. So, go check that out for sure, and come back and let me know your thoughts about it. So, why did I say that's a good, um, that's a good uh, question of the day for today? So, today is this... The episode of encounters so the teaser revealed that apparently the new trainer is going to be another main protagonist alongside ash whether they're traveling together or not we're not sure but there's gonna be two main protagonists for this um season of pokemon it's gonna be ash and it's gonna be the other one his name is go and apparently ash's new motto even though Pokemon's old model used to be gotta catch them all, Ash's new thing is battling. That's all it is. They they pretty much realize they haven't been using the thing gotta catch them all, really. And it's just been all about battles, right, with Ash? So since Ash is the one about battling, they're bringing in Go. And his plan is that he has to catch them all. Go's goal is to catch all the, every Pokemon. So... Since, since this is the episode of encounters i thought that would be a good turning point so what do you guys think about go and his new thing about uh wanting to catch all the pokemon and what do you think like his role is going to be in the next season so a lot of rumors have it that uh it's going this season of pokemon is going to in, uh, include every single region that has existed in the pokemon universe which i think could be cool but do you think that's going to be ash is going to be traveling to them or do you think we're going to see ash in Galar, and we're going to see Go traveling through all the different regions, and they're not going to be traveling together. Now, see, that could be cool, but at the same time, I wouldn't be a big fan of the jumping between two stories um, kind of thing. If it was two separate series, then okay, but I think it just wouldn't be the greatest idea. I'd really like to see Ash and Go travel together, and they travel to all the different regions together. I think that would be sick. But they would have to have a reason why they're traveling to those regions, I think. But, um, yeah, I'm really interested to see how this season is going to go. I forgot to switch train. Oh, well. I might even stop switch training just because next episode I'm going to have a grinding montage. And I'm probably just going to grind everybody up to, like, level 20. Get a team full of 20. Well, I know I'm going to train Magikarp for sure up to level 20. Maybe not everybody. Maybe everybody up to, like, level 18 or something. But I want Magikarp at 20 because I want to get rid of Magikarp and I want to get Gyarados. So that's going to be one play. But yeah, so let me know what you think about the next anime. What what did you think about the teaser and the, Im the leaked image? And just, you know, everything about the anime, essentially. Let me know what your thoughts are. You know, I'm actually going to grab Flash, even though I know where to go in the cave. Uh, I'm going to grab Flash and teach it to Delcaddy. Yeah, Delcaddy. I'm not going to waste it on Porygon. Because Porygon... I'll use Porygon before I use Delcaddy. Delcaddy is a lost cause. Sorry, Delcaddy. You're just an HM slave at this point. 
maybe I will ke keep Del Caddy on the team. If I can't find a full team of six, I'll probably keep Del Caddy just for the fact of um, HM Slave. Like, even though I will be able to catch a full team of six, I have a full team of six right now, technically. Um, plus one in the box, right? Didn't I just send somebody to the box? Who did I just catch? I just caught a C-Dot. I named it Nutted. Ooh, Flareon. I think I know who's joining the squad. I just heard people talking, yet nobody's in my house. It was really faint. Maybe it was outside. All right. Flareon's definitely going to be joining the squad here. Um, Let's see. All right. Tackle. Hit him with some tackles. Hit him with more. Tackle again. Don't want to risk the crit. I don't want to risk the crit. All right. Level six though. That kind of sucks because he's really low. It's gonna. The grinding is gonna be long. That's for sure. I'm, getting, I'm definitely gonna get the grinding done tonight. Well, before next episode for sure. Maybe not tonight. So I might only record two then. Or else, because if I record a third, then we're going with like, we'll have a team of six, but it won't be like anywhere close. It'll be our three that we're using right now, plus like a bunch of Sakamons. One, two, three. Yes. We got a fly around. This team is going to be so much power coming up. Who knows? Maybe we might even not, we might not even keep Magikarp on the team, depending on what the encounters are. Like, I'd, I'd rather not have two fire types, uh, two water types. So, like, if I have more versatile options, I might either have to get rid of Kingdra or Gyarados. And I think I'd be getting rid of Gyarados. Having that dragon typing could be nice. Alright. Um, what are we naming this guy? Lately what? Slightly flared. Slightly torched. So let's think about names I've used for fire types before. And one fire type name I use a lot is the human torch. So, slightly torched. I don't usually name Flareon slightly torched, but whatever. It also depends on Pokemon's abilities, right? Like, I might grind him all. Oh, I would have preferred a Cyndaquil. I would have preferred that a lot. I love starters and I love Cyndaquil. I don't know if Cyndaquil is my favorite of Gen 2 starters. But like, yeah. Like for Gen 2 starters, it's weird because I have my favorite for like first stage, second stage, and third stage. Like my favorite third stage out of all of them is for Alligator. Favorite second is Quilava. Actually, is it Quilava? I love Quilava second stage. But I love Bailey from the anime. Probably Kulava, actually. And then my favorite first stage is Chikorita. Then again, all of their first stages are so cute. So, yeah, I don't know. But, like, if I had to choose... If I had to choose, like, who would... Like, you know how there's Pokemon Trainer and, um... It's Smash Bros. If I had to choose a Gen 2 Pokemon trainer, it would probably be for Alligator, Koalava, Chikorita. Yeah. That would probably how I play it. Yo, there's so many good fire types in here. What the heck? There's our ace from last season. I went and grabbed the item down there, right? I think so. If I didn't, let me know. I probably won't come back for it either way, so there's no point letting me know. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, that would probably be my Gen 2. What would be the Gen 3? That's another thing I'm going to think. Let me know down below in the comments the second question of the day, I guess. Wait, do I have... Yeah, second question of the day would be like... What would be the Pokemon trainer for each gen? It's so not the trainer itself, but like the set of three mons. 
for Smash Bros. Like for Gen 2. For Gen 2, I feel like the third would have to be Blaziken. Blaziken is just such a fan favorite. But then again, I could definitely see, like... I could definitely see it being... Uh... Oh. You have Shadow Tag? Are you kidding me? Then the thing is, I think you only have Whirlwind, right? Okay. Beautiful. Um... Why'd I just keep running up? Did I hear so? Do I have a Repel? Let me see if I have a Repel. I'm tired of uh, running into a bunch of stuff. Repel. Yeah, considering I already have a fire and a water as final, I could see Sceptile being being a uh, being the uh, the third stage. But I would probably suggest it being like. Trico. Trico? See, I feel like Trico would be better than Mudkip, but at the same time, I'm I'm stuck on Grovout or Marsh Stomp. Both of them could be cool. I think Trico, Marsh Stomp, Blaziken would be the play, though. And then going on to Gen 4. Gen 4, I would do the put monferno torterra no i do turtwig monferno and polion but in all honesty any of those like infernape could be cool too but it would be another firefighting as a third stage uh, I think a Flaffy was in here. Oh, this place has such powerful encounters. Gen 4, I find, is the most interchangeable one for, like, who could be. The only one that can be the third stage, I'd say, is Torterra. Torterra would be too slow to be a third stage. Um, But, like, for the rep, but, like, I feel like it could all be interchangeable. Moving into Gen 5, what do we got for Gen 5? We've got the Oshawott line, we've got Tepig line, and we've got Snivy line. I would love to see... Superior. Superior, uh, Duwat, and Tepig. But at the same time, Oshawott, Duwat, and Tepig, Pig Knight would be interchangeable. Ooh, let's check out the TM that he gave us. I'm not going to teach to anyone yet, just in case. Because, like, now the squad might be changing, right? Yeah, so we're going to grab these last three encounters, and then that's going to be the end of the episode, probably. I told you, this is just the uh, episode of encounters. I'm going to skip all these trainers. I'm going to come back and fight all these trainers during the grinding montage. Okay, Roxanne, 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 Roxanne. Let's go. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Be like right up here. Right up here. Look, I changed it. Yeah, Route 109 over here, and up there it's Slateport. Alright, one, two, three, four. Yes! I forget what I was talking about, but yes! Coughing. Coughing ain't bad. Not bad, not bad. Do you have self-destruct? Probably not yet, but we're not putting you in red. We're putting you in yellow. Don't poison gas me. Don't do that. Not a fan of that, okay? Ugh. Oh. I should have antidote, so I'm good. Keep hitting it for now. Ooh, a crit! Alright, stay in the first ball so I don't have to take some more poison damage. Because if I don't take any more poison damage, then I should be fine. I won't, won't have to use an antidote. One. Oh. 
I'm already poisoning. Stop trying to double poison me. This kid's predicting my switch. From here. Let's go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Can we get it easily? Everybody just loves a nice premiere ball, eh? After we get the next two encounters, we're going to check out everybody's ability, and I'm going to finalize a team in between. What are you? You're the gas Pokemon. Ball of gas. You explode. Ex slightly exploded. No, slightly... Slightly what? Slightly... Mm -hmm. I don't know what to name this guy. Um, coughed, coughing, slightly wheezing, slightly wheezed, slightly gas, slightly gassed. G A S T D, slightly gassed. I don't know if there's supposed to be two S's in that. I really don't care. Pokemon. Switch. Maybe we'll even decide on the final team before the end of the episode. Maybe I'll just swap everybody up. Not even a nibble. I. Not even a nibble. I. Not even a nibble. We're getting some pretty sick encounters, though. Like, we're going to have a team of six. We're going to have a team of six. Not even a nibble. Jeez. Beautiful. What are we getting? Give me a legendary. <gasps> it's not a legendary, but it essentially is. Pokemon. Bladed, get out here. You're going to whittle this guy down. Aw, oh, you suck. Water gun. That barely did anything to you. Beyond, but it failed. You know what? Maybe I'll just go into Delcaddy. Go into Delcaddy. Because I'm going to sing him. Okay, so maybe Delcaddy was added to the layout. Now I don't know. You guys will know. If I'm using Delcaddy, he should be on the layout. Or she should be on the layout. But yeah. We'll be staying there. Yeah, Encore my saying that's okay, because that's the only thing it's going for. Oh yeah, he fell asleep. Whatever. You only know Encore and Yon? Like he bust out a scratch. I know you know it. Thank you. Woke up, sing, land it. Oh my god, this is why I hate you, Del Caddy. You die, that's okay. Keep charm. You better hope he doesn't hit, because if you die, you're dead. I've stopped caring now. Del Caddy can't even land a sing. Finally. Oh my god. Alright, I want this mon. I want this mon. I want this mon. Going bag. Going Pokeball. Pass it. Let's go. Uno. Dos. Trace. Beauty. Slightly what? This guy's so powerful. Slightly legended? No. Slightly... Um, slightly... Slightly A. No. Slightly... Slightly... Slightly powered. Is that a good name? Slightly... Howard. Sure. No. Slightly majestic. Slightly tough. Slightly S 
Why can't I figure out a name for this guy? He's a sloth. Slack king. Slightly slacked. Slightly slacked. Not much original. Not really original. But it's okay. Slightly slacked. Oh, slightly crowned. He was a king. Where are we at? Red 11. Okay. 10, 9, 8. Alright. One more encounter. Then we're going to check out abilities. And then we're going to make our way downtown. Alright, we got one more right here. One from the episode of Two Gyms to the episode of Encounters. That's how we do things. A low tad. Ooh, another. Is that a grass? Is that a leaf stone evolution or is that a water stone? Yeah. Another stone evolution, though. Now we have C dot and low tad, like the two opposites of each other. They're not really opposites, but they're like two Pokemon. They kind of come together. They're the grass Pokemon that come together. See, if they're going to do Grass Water, the other one should have been Grass Fire, in my opinion. Give us our Flame and Jalapeno. That's what I want. That's the best Grass Fire that they can make, is the Flame and Jalapeno. Oh. I don't know why I just went off, but yeah. A Flaming Jalapeno would be such a cool idea and such a cool design for a uh, Fire Grass type. It would just be sick. Ooh, he's absorbing me. What a guy. Bag. Pokeball. Two. Three. Beauty. Low tide was caught. Alright, what am I going to name this guy? Slightly what? Slightly... He's a lily pad. Slightly padded. Padded. Alright, now let's go check out everybody's abilities. See what they're rocking. I'm also actually going to deposit, like, everybody that's questionably on the team. So you... You, you, you. All of you are questionable. I don't know yet who's coming. Let's move items. Let's check out items first. Who's holding items? Oh, it doesn't work like that in this one. Okay. Nope, wrong thing. I meant to go to move Pokemon, my bad. Look at that. We just went from an empty box to a full box. Uh, summary. So we've got Nutted the Sea Dot with the Soundproof Ability, Rock and Bide, Harden and Growth. We've got Flareon with Cloud 9, uh, not the greatest ability. No item with Tackle, Tail Whip and Helping Hand. Then we've got Gast, the Volt Absorb, not bad. Coughing, but it's going to change. Poison Gas and Tackle. We've got Slacked with Limber, with Scratch, Yawn and Encore. We've got Minus, a Low Tad. No item with Astonish, Growl, and Absorb. And then the rest we already know. Alright, well it's not bad. And before I go, I'm just going to check out... Nobody had any items. I'm going to check out what our TMs are looking like. We got Tickle. Alright, well that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that's getting released. And please answer the question of the day. Uh, what do you think about the new kind of art style and the new main protagonist in the upcoming season of Pokemon? Uh, I know we don't know a lot of information about him or a lot of information about the season at all, but yeah, let me know down below. Let me know what we, you would like to see, essentially, too. All right, well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope to... S I hope what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say there. I'll see you guys in the next one, and as always, stay salty.